Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a program called Tarot Your Love Story for the month of February 2019 and this is for you coming from Virgo. So the first card that I'm going to pull will be, well before that I want to give you my email address which is andyhoro9, A-N-D-I-H-O-R-O, the number 9, andyhoro9 at gmail.com. Now the first card that I'm going to pull will, for you coming from Virgo will be to do with your first 15 days of February. And I'm going to use this card to talk to you about the possibility of finding a new romance. And you are going to be very lucky in the first 15 days and may easily find a very good contact in the form of a new romance. So look your best when you are chasing or meeting this person and it's going to be a very favorable one as well. First 15 days, new romance can be found, which is a good one. I'm going to pull this card to talk to you about your ongoing romance. And this is a card of harmony. It's a card of harmony. So the harmonious situation with this card shows a togetherness and helping each other. So your first 15 days of February are going to be extremely very nice where your ongoing romance is concerned. That can ongoing romance can be improved to talk of long-term happiness. This card that I'm going to pull will be to do about your marriage in the first 15 days. It's a card of shelter. So it says you and your marriage partner are creating shelter for each other. And that is a good sign, whether in the financial area, the love area, the harmonious area. So it's a good card. So the first 15 days is going to be extremely lucky for you in the marriage area. Make full of use of it. Go out together, enjoy yourselves. Now I will talk to you about the last 13 days of February. And let's see what this card says. And it's about your new romance. Oh, this is a very nasty card. And it says in the last 13 days, if you find a romance partner, it's going to come loaded with complications and problems. So think twice before you go grasping and embracing this person because this person has some very nasty sides and this person may not be very honest. So there's a message for you. Take it easy. See how the first 13 days pass without giving yourself and putting yourself in a situation where you regret it. This card that I'm going to pull will be to do with your ongoing romance. Well, it's a much better card to say that. A much better card. But again, that black moon. When I see a black moon, it always shows that whatever you get, whatever you do, the bottom line is always depression or unhappiness or some kind of disappointment. So I'll have to say that your ongoing romance can be good enough if you keep the harmony. Don't bring up any past issues because that may be the one that's going to cause your ongoing romance into problems. Now about your marriage area for the last 13 days. Let's see what the card says. <clears throat> well, this is a card of harmony. So there will be harmony there. But it's also a card that says who wants to be the leader. And I see the sign of Saturn, the sign of Venus, and the sign of Mars. So it's a divided card. So I would advise you that in the last 13 days where your marriage is concerned, let your marriage partner take the lead and make the decisions and you will have the ability of keeping your marriage in a happier state. Once there's a conflict, then the reading of this card can say that the conflict arising for the last 13 days would not be good for you. So step back, let your marriage partner take over last 13 days for whatever is important to do. That would be better. Now the next card that I'm going to pull for you coming from Virgo would be to do with your lucky ages. Who are those with spectacular lucky ages coming from Virgo? Those who are the ages of 22 or 31 or 40 or 49 or 58 or 67 are going to be very very lucky in the month of February whether in romance, whether in marriage, whether the new romance or the ongoing romance. If you are not of these ages you'll need to have a 90 minute session with me 
and I'll have your full date of birth and time of birth and look at your palms and I'll tackle your next seven, eight or nine years in all areas of your life, the job, the business, the finances, the health as well and your love story. We'll talk more about that later. Now I'm going to put this card and talk to you about your lucky colors. So what colors can make you inspired, make your aura great so that you attract a new romance or make your ongoing romance happy or your marriage happy? And looking at the signs of these planets, I'm going to favor red. So you're going to, if you wear red, you're going to be very lucky whether in romance or marriage in the whole month of February. So wear that. Now I'm going to talk to you about a lucky direction. There are nine planets placed around you. When you look north or south or east or west, you'll be facing a planet and looking for inspiration to find romance. I would say face west. It's a very good card actually, a card where love can bloom. So face west and you'll f when you wished to contact this person on the phone or when you wish to be inspired to say what to say and facing west will produce plenty of good opportunities for you where romance and love is concerned and marriage as well. Now for you coming from Virgo, which zodiac sign could cause trouble for you in this month of February? And the person I would say from this card would be from the sign of Gemini. That's what the, this card is prominent about. This is the sign of Gemini right here where my finger is. And so somebody from Gemini is going to cause you pain and sorrow, whether in romance or in marriage. And if this person happens to be from Gemini, your romance partner or the new one you find romance or your marriage partner, it just means you'll have to be very careful what you say and do. Things can go bad very quickly. So it's you listening to me and if you are involved with somebody from Gemini, tell yourself be very careful and if you meet somebody from Gemini, don't share your personal secrets of your love story either. Now who, who can form an attachment to you coming from Virgo for the month of February? So somebody's got eyes for you, you may have somebody of eyes for you coming from Virgo. And looking at this card, I will have to say somebody from Aries. So somebody from Aries has got interest in you in this month of February in romance. Or if you have a partner, marriage partner who is in Aries or a romance partner who is in Aries, then I would say that the chances of betterment would be also better. So somebody from Aries is willing to help you have a better love story in this month of February. Well, I'm having a 90-minute session and with this 90-minute session based on your date of birth, time of birth and looking at your palms, I'll talk to you about your next seven, eight or nine years. And in this seven, eight or nine years, I'll tackle all areas of your life, your job, your business, your finances, your health and of course your love story. And I'll be able to give you a lot of information about your lucky lottery numbers, your lucky colors, your lucky gemstones, your lucky directions so that you can have more control of your life for the next seven, eight or nine years. So I've given you my email address, which is Andy Horo 9, A-N-D-I-H-O-R-O 9, the number 9, Andy Horo 9 at gmail.com. Send me an email and I'll try to reply to it as soon as I can. Until then, have a good love story in the month of February. Thank you and goodbye.